Hello and uh, thank you uh, Axel. Um, thank you for the introduction. Uh, my name is uh, Per Christian Hauge. Uh, I'm uh, running the the uh, continuous services unit now in oil and gas uh, that has a focus on cloud and as a service. Uh, you know this journey with cloud and as a service it's actually started quite some years ago. Uh, the dialogue we had with the customer at that time was quite different because at that time our customer they were more focused on okay TA2 at that time TA2 focus on product because you're really good at that we would like to host our data in our own environment we would like to keep it behind our own firewalls that was then a lot of things has changed since that Today, the appetite in the industry for cloud as a service is to a very different extent. So what I will share with you guys today is our journey into the cloud and into our continuous services. So after this brief presentation, I hope that you will sit back with the following. That we have a product which is ready for the cloud that we have a flexible end-to-end -end service offering covering the entire value chain of EC, that we have a scalable cloud platform based on a public cloud provider, and that we have proof of deliverables, and that we have a global capabilities and setup that supports our strategy as such. So, with that, I think we need to start with the product. Because it's the product that is the core of what we do. The product has been covered a lot on the functionality side today. Uh, however, in this presentation, I will focus more on the technology part of it. As uh, we have evolved the product on the technology side, to be fit for the cloud, it goes on the application management part, easier maintaining the application. It goes on the upgradability and of course on our ability to integrate in the cloud with the new developed RESTful API. On top of the product, we need to make sure that we have a service offering, a complete service thinking. So over the last seven years, we have evolved an end-to-end -end service, what we call EC lifecycle services, that covers everything from implementation, to health checks, to application management, and even upgrade services as such. With that, we also needed to evolve a platform, a cloud platform, that was able to host our application and where we could execute our services on top of. And then we started the journey with our TE2 oil and gas cloud platform. This is a cloud platform, as I mentioned, that is funded on top of AWS. That means that we have a global capabilities that is far beyond what we have if you have your own in-house services. It's fully automated, meaning that we can deploy new EC installations in a very rapid and efficient manner. It's fully automated and monitored, meaning that we can monitor everything from the infrastructure to the application and to the integration, which is really important. And of course, it's scalable. And security is definitely an important element, and we utilize all security services that is provided by AWS. So where does this bring us? Well, this brings us to what we call EC as a service. So it's the combination of a subset of our lifecycle services, infrastructure, application management, 
and product updates and all other updates on the infrastructure. This is built on top of then EC, which is then in the cloud. With the EC as a service, you get one SLA covering the whole service from us. Not many customers or vendors can say that they are SOC 2 certified. We are SOC 2 certified. That means that we have control of security, availability, integrity of, and privacy of data, which is extremely important, of course. With EC as a service, then you get access to quicker or you get quicker access to new functionality and new modules as it is deployed on our platform. And the ties between the product and the services organization is, of course, to a very different extent than it could have been when you don't combine these things. And lastly, I would mention that when you acquire a service from T2 as a service, so the entire service, then you can focus on the application side and we take care of the infrastructure and we take care of the application side. So this is the service. Where are we today? Well, you know, we have actually, today we have 16 customer installations in the cloud. By the end of 2020, we will have 20. It started actually two years ago in America with Chavon. Uh, and we have evolved after that. It's not only easy that is in the cloud. It's also DaVinci that was covered earlier, where we are handling all logistic on the Norwegian continental shelf. So for us to be a trustworthy partner in the asset service space and in the product space, we see that we need to be present where you are. We need a local presence to understand the oil sands and legislation in Canada, understanding the operations in the Norwegian continental shelf, understanding grid operations in Australia. We need to be there, we need to understand. But in addition to that, we need to cover more because we need to have a flexibility and a scalability. And that is given to us through our delivery centers in India, and in Malaysia. So, my dear friends, I hope that through this short journey that you recognize our journey on the product side, that we have a flexible end-to-end -end offering on the services side, that we have a scalable, secure cloud platform and that we have an organization set up and proven deliveries that shows that we are fit for the future. With that, of course, I would like you to hook up with us uh, and, um, and uh, we would like to have deep dives with you and talk more about as a service. Thank you very much.